feel like I'm taking crazy pills over here. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Every single Super Bowl, what happens, guys? What happens? The 49ers blow it. Kyle Shanahan, run the ball. Run the ball. You have the best offensive player in the entire league. And somehow you forget that he is on your roster until the fifth quarter of the Super Bowl. Which, by the way, newsflash, there's only four quarters in the Super Bowl. The game was tied and then he got the ball. I feel like I watched the same thing happen four years ago in 2019. It's the same exact, it's deja vu all over again. I can't believe it. Anyways, this is not an NFL YouTube channel. We need to talk about comic books. Swag, what does deja vu have to do with comic books in this video here today? Well, guess what, comic book collectors out there? Here we are once again coming off the Super Bowl with a big trailer that gets the whole secondary market excited about random comic books out there in the market that nobody cared about just a day ago. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the secondary market, talk about the latest and greatest FOMO book of the year, Secret Wars number five, the new hotness as a result of being an Easter egg in the Deadpool trailer. We're gonna talk about that, take a look at the secondary market, and then ultimately, do a little bit of a market report on the big keys related to Deadpool. Can Deadpool save not only the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but also the secondary universe as well? But of course, before I get into it, if you guys could like, comment, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Help support the channel, doing those things. I'm so sad, guys. Let's get into the video here today. Okay. Well, like I already said, we had the Super Bowl yesterday. It was a great game. You know, if you're somebody who isn't attached to the losers, that is the 49ers, but a very, very entertaining game. Patrick Mahomes is him. Usher still got it. And Marvel still drops trailers that get everybody excited on the secondary market. Of course, we had the official teaser for Deadpool and Wolverine, the third installment of the Deadpool universe, but the first one coming to the MCU. And I got to say, you know, I actually thought the trailer was pretty good. I thought it was entertaining. I'm kind of excited about it, but... I've also read this script before, right? Every single trailer looks good that comes out of Marvel. Okay, it's not that hard to take, you know, 90 seconds of footage and make it look badass and put a bunch of bombs on it and put like, you know, some kind of modern song, but add a bunch of like, you know, drums to it and da 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 You know, with a bunch of bullet shots and things like that. Anyone can look good for 90 seconds. So I'm not gonna get ahead of myself, but now I am a little bit excited and I'm not the only one that is a little bit excited. Comic book collectors are a little bit excited as well because we had a little bit of an Easter egg. This one little image of Secret Wars number five being a dusty, torn apart comic book in the wasteland of the, what I assume is going to be the Fox universe in the Deadpool film, just set this book to the moon, guys. Secret Wars number five. I gotta say, it's been a while. I, I feel like I've been saying it's been a while, but it has been a while since we've seen crazy FOMO like this coming off of a movie trailer. I mean, look at some of the sale prices for this thing right here, the Alex Rocks cover from 2015, the Hickman story. $38.99 sale right there, slash price of $47. We got a $50 sale right there. We got a $44. We got a slash price of $39. We got a lot right there. Some more lots, more sales. I mean, this book is insane right now, guys. It is insane. I mean, even if I go over here, let's check off the sold listings. Let's go over to the new listings. I mean, look at the asking prices, $65 for this. I mean, guys, what are we doing here? I wouldn't be surprised. If you just got in your car and went down to your LCS, you'd probably be able to find this book, if not in the dollar bin, certainly in a back issue bin for three or four dollars. You know, the price of the bag and board itself. It is crazy how this one little Easter egg 
can make everyone lose their minds once again. And this is really one of the interesting points, I think, about the comic book market and having this YouTube channel for now, you know, three and a half years and covering this stuff is this is one of the things. I think there is so much turnover in comic book collecting. There is always, you know, a new chain of people that come into the hobby and they get reinvigorated and they get excited about that new version of spec. And this is why. This is why FOMO will never go away. Spec will never go away because people always come back. They always get brought back in. They go, oh yeah, I remember comic books. I remember Deadpool. I remember the MCU. This is why at a certain point, probably the MCU will come back because nostalgia is one hell of a drug and it makes people spend $50 on a comic book that was worth a dollar yesterday. So be careful out there if you're somebody who actually wants to buy this book. I promise you, you can find them in your LCSs. But this is not the only book that got a little bit crazy yesterday. Of course, I'm on the Key Collector app. Maybe Key Collector has a little bit to do with it because they're the ones putting out the news. But once again, new X-Men, number 114. First appearance of Cassandra Nova, you know, a character apparently that is going to be showing up in the Deadpool film. I suppose this book got a little bit of a surge due to the fact that, you know, we got the trailer. And while this one isn't selling, you know, at a crazy amount of money, you know, $10 here, slash price of nine, you know, $14 here, uh, it is moving a lot coming off of that trailer. A ton of sales for this book right here. And I wouldn't be surprised if this book, along with Secret Wars number five, show up on all the hot lists this week. On top of that, we already have rumors right now that not only are we going to be getting Wolverine, who we clearly saw in the trailer, but we might be getting a variant of Wolverine as the patch version. Now, Wolverine number one from 1988 always sells. This is an always popular book. And generally speaking, it always will be a popular book, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a surge in this one right here, you know, a bounce back uh, coming off of the, the, the trailer or maybe in like the weeks to come, this book might pick up a little bit of steam. But you know, what we didn't get and not so surprising is we didn't get a lot of FOMO purchases on the Mega Grails. I don't necessarily think that we should expect that anymore. I mean, that was a once in a lifetime situation where we saw, you know, these types of books selling you know, for uh, crazy prices af off of trailers in 2021, like actual keys and stuff. I mean, a FOMO purchase on a $50 book is not the same thing as a FOMO purchase on a $2,000 book, especially a $2,000 book that everyone knows that this is the second appearance of Wolverine. And uh, everybody has always had the opportunity to buy this one. But I did want to just talk about this key a little bit and talk about, you know, the market report aspect of it. This is one that, you know, I still think, you know, when we look at our comic book index and, and think about, you know, the COVID money getting pulled out of, you know, these types of books and, you know, are they a little bit inflated? I do think that the hype of, you know, Hugh Jackman in Deadpool has definitely kept this book afloat. It still is something that I think is a little bit of a risk, you know, when you're buying it right now, you know, especially if you get to later in the year after the movie has come and gone, you might be able to find opportunities. Also, you know, you were talking about the CGC situation, you know, this is a, a definitely a prime target book uh, for a lot of those ones. But, uh, you know, if you're fearless out there, you may not care. But, you know, you can see with this one, it, it takes a while for this book to uh, continue to go up. I mean, there's times in this book's lifespan where it has been on a plateau. I mean, from 2018 through, you know, the, the COVID boom, the December 2020, it was pretty flat overall. I mean, it was at this $2,800 range just sitting there for a long time. And that's something that you have to remember. Like, I think that, you know, Outside of natural inflation, this book stays flat for a little bit of time because there are so many copies out there. I mean, there's 17,000 total graded. I mean, this is similar to New Mutants 98, you know, something that you guys have to be a little bit careful about. I mean, look at the lifespan of this book. Here you have this book that slowly goes up due to the rate of, you know, inflation, then gets a lift from the first Deadpool movie. And then look how flat it is for years. I mean, from 2014, after the first Deadpool film, all the way to 2020, it's basically the same price. We have the COVID time, it corrects back down. And I would imagine Imagine that you know we're going to be at you know basically the same price for this book, say 1,200 fair market value at the 9.8 for a long time. And the reason for that is that these are the types of books that people find in their collections. You know, there's still raw copies out there that can easily be graded as a 9.8. So you always have an influx of new 9.8s coming into the market, which is going to be the thing that prevents you know the book from scaling. Uh, you know, in, in a year-over-year -year type of thing. So that's one of the things you have to remember. You will always have time 
to buy this book. Now, there will be times maybe in the future that, you know, the floor gets lifted just, you know, due to the rate of inflation or whatever it is, you know, I mean, that could be possible. But there's always going to be new 9.8s hitting the market. And that's just something that you guys got to remember. Now, the last book to talk about because, you know, we're talking Super Bowl, we're talking Taylor Swift, we're talking about, you know, the 49ers blowing it. Run the ball, Kyle Shanahan! We have uh, X-Men number 130 here, uh, first appearance of Dazzler. And this is another one too, that, you know, the 9.8s, uh, still very, very hot, still very, very high because of the fact that, you know, everyone is excited about Taylor Swift. In the Deadpool movie, we don't actually know if she is going to be showing up, although it's looking like that. But, you know, all of this, uh, you know, attention on Taylor Swift has definitely made a lot of Taylor Swift books hot out there, including, you know, some of those uh, retail variants, the Taylor Swift books, which, you know, I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about in this video, but, you know, those are all the so ones that probably are going to be showing up on hot lists, uh, books that have, you know, Taylor Swift on the cover and things like that. But this is one that, you know, I, I think it is riding still a little bit hot. You can see that the COVID money spiked it up, had its correction, then got hot again because of, you know, the uh, Deadpool factor. But... I have to assume that after we get, you know, past this film, this is going to be a one that has a little bit of a pullback. So you got to be a little bit careful with this one. Although, uh, you know, at the 9-8 level, you know, all black cover, this is a tough book, 7.3%, only 352, you know, universal 9-8s. So not an easy book to get a 9-8, which is, you know, my way of saying that there will always be some value for this thing. This will always be a popular in-demand book, but, you know, can it hold sort of this like $1,800, $2,000 floor level. Well, it's going to be kind of tough for it, but it is still a very cool book. And I'm sure that it'll be very, very exciting to see Taylor Swift show up as Dazzler in the Deadpool film, if in fact that is actually what happens. Well, that's all I have for this video. That was me giving a little bit of a market report right there, you know, coming off of the Super Bowl. You know, it's deja vu, like I said. Every single Super Bowl, there's a new trailer and then comic books go crazy again. And this is something that we have to talk about. This is the cycle we're in. You know, we're in that February time frame. You know, uh, the the ten pole film that comes out in the summer movie year. There's seasonality to this. Like, you know, we, we come off you know December and Christmas. People start buying once again. You know, then we get the Super Bowl trailers and everyone goes crazy once again for all those spec books. And then we ride into you know spring slash the summer when we have that ten pole movie. In this case, it's going to be Deadpool and Wolverine. And everyone is buying, 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 buying and going crazy. So we might feel that cycle, you know, in the next two or three months. And then there's a little bit of a summer pullback. And then during Halloween, October, November, that's when things, you know, get pulled back once again. And then, you know, we go into December and then the cycle continues. And this is, you know, what we have and my head is spinning and Kyle Shanahan calls literally the same game he called in 2019. Kyle, what are you doing? All right, I'm going to end this right now before I really start to lose it. You guys are not here to watch football content. That is my market report for the comic books out there. Secret Wars number five, the new hotness, is an Easter egg, guys. W what, could, what could the book possibly be? What could it possibly be? H how is it going to go for more in the future? This is it. This is the peak. If you have been specking on Secret Wars, this is the time. Everyone is selling because this is the time. If you really want this book, either wait or go to your LCS. It's probably in the back bin. It probably is in the back bin. Run the ball, Kyle. Anyways, that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. See you all in the next video.